Jig, I got one. I got one. So another thing being up here in the North Country of Minnesota, a lot of us guys up here are just not straight bass fishermen. It's one of the one things we love to go for the most, but one of the benefits is having plenty of other species to go for. And one of the favorite ones that I like to go for is northern pike. And the best part about it is, is they live in some of the same places as muskies do. So when you go musky fishing or pike fishing, I mean, you're essentially doing one or the other. One of my favorite things to do for the big pike is uh, throw big crankbaits like this. This is uh, the shallow invader. It's actually made by Reaction Innovations. It's big, actually half plastic, half soft plastic tail, so you get a lot of action from this bait, and I throw this over huge weed flats. Another good, couple of good options for you to use as well is big, huge super shad wraps. This uh, fire tiger color is actually my favorite one to throw, and some other natural colors if you feel like your, your super vibrant colors aren't, aren't the best choice, and maybe some clearer waters and things like that. But I guarantee if you take a couple of these baits, and you just pitch some casts over some big uh, offshore weed beds, you're bound to get some big pike. I got one. It's a monster pike, dude. Yes. Oh. Oh. Woo. Wow. Oh man, that was a violent, I mean, violent hit. Oh wow, that's got me rattled, boys. That's a good pike, dude. We're just working down this weed line right here, and I was throwing musky baits, throwing that big shallow raider. Got smashed. This is one of the most aggressive hits I've got from a pike in a while, but that's a good fish. Yeah. yeah so we take those all day long. Nice fall fish, man. Let's get her back. Right. Oh, there she goes. Supercharged. She was ready. Right. All right. Nice catch. There's the bait you caught her on. Yep. Big old shallow raider. Look at those teeth marks. <laughs> it's not a muskies, but still. Caught musky on that bait before too, though. Musky on this and bait, pike. It's caught a lot of fish on that bait. It's a good it's fall a good bait. bait. Looks like a big old bait fish cruising through the water. Oh yeah. Let's get in there right. and get another one. Another thing that's huge for cranking in these big fish and these fish with teeth is having the right equipment to actually bring them in the boat. So what I here have here and what I like to use most is it's actually a Saint Croix series musky rod, um, seven foot medium heavy power action rod. Now this is a thick rod, I'm telling you. I mean, you can go from anywhere between a seven foot to eight and a half foot rod. It's pretty much whatever you prefer. I like this shorter one, um, just for my own personal preference. And then I have a big old beefed up reel. I have the Shimano Corrado here, five, three to one. Um, really allows you to wind those fish in, especially uh, allows you to work these crankbaits at the right speed that you want to work them at too. Now, when it comes to these steel leaders, <clears throat> you can get them from the store. There's plenty of, Cab Cabela's has them, Thorn Bros is another one. Any tackle shop would probably have leaders or you can go to the hardware store and make them yourself. It's really whatever you prefer. But I like the most beefed up um, leader that I actually can get. That way I don't have any concerns of losing fish at all in any way, shape, or form. And it doesn't actually impede on the action of the bait at all, really. Mike, take your time. I caught those two big pike. Essentially, there's these big, shallow, offshore grass humps. Now, if you look at the graph right there, you can see how many of these mean how easy you would see a big fish on something like that. Now, I'm throwing this big, shallow invader like that, right over the tops of them, or the deeper, coming off into deeper water like that, and just slow cranking it back in. <laughs> and just make a repetitive cast over and over and over again. Because when you're pike fishing, or musky fishing, I mean, you're essentially big pike fishing too at the same time. And, you know, in days when muskies aren't biting, might as well get some pike, right? Especially big ones like that, they're always fun to catch. But I promise if you try that out, you'll definitely get some big fish on, on, on big offshore humps like that.